Okay, question number three from January 2019 M1. Um, a very important question actually here. A uh, question about, you could say, connected particles almost. A lift of mass m kilograms is being raised by a vertical cable attached to the top of the lift. A person of mass m kilograms stands on the floor inside the lift as shown in figure one. The lift ascends vertically with a constant acceleration of 1.4 meters per second squared. Okay, so you have this, this the mass of the lift, m, the mass of the person, small m. Uh, the tension in the cable is 2,800 newtons. The person experiences a constant normal reaction of magnitude 560 newtons from the floor of the lift. Um, the cable is modeled as being light and extensible. The person is modeled as a particle and the air resistance is negligible. Now, write down an equation of motion for the person only. So we're going to consider only the person, okay, that's standing on the floor of the lift, nothing else. That's all we're going to consider. Okay, so what I'm going to do is following. Okay, just consider the person. Now, the person uh, is, says, consider, write down an equation of motion for the person only. Okay, so let's con consider the person. He has a mass m, so his weight is mg. And we're told that the reaction force between the floor and the person, okay, it says the person experiences a constant normal reaction of magnitude 560 from the floor. So there's going to be a, f uh, a reaction force upwards on the person from the floor of the lift of 560 newtons. And the whole system is accelerating upwards at 1.4 meters per second squared. So we can make an equation of motion from this, F equals MA, that's what they mean. So the resultant force, it's going up, so I'll take up as positive. The resultant force is 560 minus MG, and that's equal to MA, M times A. Okay, so 560 minus 9.8 M equals 1.4 A. So that's the equation of motion for just the person alone. Okay, now the second part of the question, part B, so this is part A we answered. Part B says write down an equation of motion for the lift only, just for the lift, not for the whole system. And this is where many people are going to slip up. Okay, I'm sure many people slipped up in this question, okay, because what people generally tend to do is find the equation of motion for the whole system, okay, where they take the tension and the, the weight of both the person and the lift and the acceleration going up, but it's asking for the lift only, not for the whole system, not for the man and the lift, just the lift on its own. So you don't take the whole weight of the man and the lift, you take just the weight of the lift. You take the tension in the cable, okay? And what other forces are acting on the lift? Well, there's a reaction force acting, okay? That is, um, see, there's a reaction force of the floor of the lift on the man. There's also an equal and opposite reaction force of the man on the lift. So there's going to be a reaction force acting down from the man on the lift, which incorporates all the other forces in terms of his weight and stuff like that, which we don't have to write down here because it's incorporated in that reaction force. So that's 2,800 newtons up the, the mass of the lift. So that's mg, the weight of the lift will be there. And then you've got the reaction force of the man on the lift, which is 560 newtons. Okay, these are the forces acting on the lift, just on the lift. The tension pulling it up, its weight, and the reaction force of the floor. The man, when he touches the lift, there's a reaction force, which is 560 newtons. That's forces acting on the lift. Okay, and this is the force acting on the man. This is on the lift. So here we got, if we resolve these forces, taking up as positive again, because you know it's accelerating, the whole system is accelerating with the same acceleration, 1.4 meters per second squared. So let's take up as positive. So we say 2,800 minus 560 minus mg is equal to 1.4 times m, ma. Okay, so this is capital M this time. So let's just um, simplify that here. We've got 2,800. 2,800 minus 560, which gives you 2,240 
2240 minus mg equals 1.4 m capital m okay now um the reason why we have to be very careful here is because it, it's not uh, it's asking us for equation of motion for the lift only it would also have been um a method of finding m the, the you know the big and the m and the little m if we had taken the whole system in which case we would have had 2800 here we would have had mg plus little mg and we'd have then had the 1.4 meters per second squared that would still give us the the correct answers in the end for finding m and big m and little m and that's why the next part of the question says um hence or otherwise okay so we can use these equations of the motions that we found here okay whoops we can use these that we found here, which are, is this one and this one here, and we can find big M and little m, which will probably be easier. Otherwise, we could have, we could consider the forces on the whole system. So we add the two masses together. So it's going to be m plus m times g, and we take this tension 2,800, and that's equal to m plus m times 1.4, and then solve it, and we'll still get the same answers. But part B is asking us to find the force is acting only on the lift. So we only consider the mass of the lift and the tension pulling the lift up and we consider the reaction force of the man that's, uh, when the man is in contact with this, there's a reaction force and that reaction force kind of incorporates his, his weight anyway. Okay, so that's why we don't include it. It's just like um, when you have something being towed. Okay, and we, we, we see there's a tension in the rope here and here, all right? And when we consider the system as a whole, we don't consider these two tensions. So if we consider the system as a whole, we would consider the mass of this and the mass of that when we consider the system as a whole. Okay? So when we do, you know, the resultant force equals MA, like you have your driving force and you have your resistance forces and stuff. You take the total resistance forces for both of these and you take the total mass of both of these and you ignore these because they cancel each other out. But when you're looking at some system, part of the system on its own, okay, in fact this should be the other way around. This is being pulled by that. When you consider the system on its own, okay, the system on its own, like this part of it on its own, then you consider this tension, and you don't consider the, the weight of this. You don't consider the mass of this in your system. You have the mass of this, you have the driving force, you have the tension, you have the resistance to motion. You're not considering the mass of this. And that's the reason why we don't consider the mass of the man here. It's the same kind of thing. See, the mass of this, uh, its effect is taken into account by this tension. So the mass of this man and his weight basically is taken into account by this reaction force here. It's all incorporated into that. All right. So here we're only looking at the forces acting on the lift, okay, alone, as the question asked. Okay. So you've got to be very, very careful with this question. Okay. For the lift only, just like we did for the man only. You've got to do it there for the lift only. Uh, you've got to be very careful because the man is inside the lift rather than separate like in this case. So some people c get confused by this. Okay, so we have these two. So let me just um, take these two on the other side. 560 minus 9.8 M equals 1. But I'll just copy it. Okay, so now we have the two equations that we formed from the previous um, page. And we're asked now to find the value of little m and big M. Okay, this is, this is I can't see them can't see too much of a difference. That's a little m here and that's a big m here, okay? I haven't made it too clear. Okay, that's big m and that's little m. So this is the mass of the man, this is the mass of the lift. Okay, so we know that A is equal to, or this should say m here, not A. That's a mistake. Little m, let me just correct that on the other side. How did I do that? That's supposed to be an m here, 1.4 times m, sorry. Okay. Um, okay, now, well, that's pretty easy because we know all these values, so we can find what m is. So from the first equation, you've got 560 is equal to 1.4 m plus 9.8 m. Okay, that's going to give you 11.2, isn't it? That's going to be 10 plus 11.2 m is equal to 560. So little m, the mass of the man, is 560 divided by 11.2. Okay, so 560 divided by 11.2 that gives you 50 50 kilograms that's the mass of the man and then for the mass of the lift we can use this, this equation here so we're going to have 2240 
m is equal to uh, 9.8 m plus 1.4 m. Okay, so 2240 is equal to, that's going to be 10, again it's going to be 11.2 m, so, but this is big m this time, so m is equal to 2240 divided by 11.2, so you've got 2240 divided by 11.2, which gives you 200 kilograms. And there we have our answers for this question. Okay, so again, I know I've gone on a bit about this one, but it's very important that you realize what this means. Many, many people will take the force acting on the whole system, okay, rather than just on the lift alone. Okay, so be careful about that.